What's the worst example of parenting you've ever seen? I've seen a lot of crazy things at the local dirt track races. One thing that sticks out is a lady pouring her Mountain Dew into a bottle and feeding it to her baby. Also every time we go there are tons of kids and babies with no ear protection. That's a consistent 90 plus decibel level for long periods of time. Too loud for me anyway. Makes me sad. I work with an eye doctor. One day I had a child who had a glow stick burst in his eyes. The stuff in there is extremely basic and filled with shards of glass. Three months earlier, the mom refused to get him checked though he complained of pain and blurred vision, saying she thought he was making it up. By the time she brought him in, one cornea was completely destroyed and the other almost as bad from the chemical burns. He might be able to get corneal transplants and bring him to 20 stroke 100 or so in the good eye. The doctor reported that mother to CPS. Comma she thought he was making it up. Gods I freaking hate that. My mother used to do that too. One time my sisters and I all caught pneumonia, but she only got them medicine because she thought I was faking it. Luckily she's sane, now, but that caused a lot of problems for me back then. My sister is a rural mail carrier. She noticed some suspicious activity at a house and alerted the police who set up a stakeout. It turns out this man was pimping out his 12 year old mentally handicapped daughter. I took my little brother and niece to Chucky. Cheese. While I was waiting for them to finish their game I looked behind me and this mom had put her newborn on the dirty floor and left her there while she was looking through her phone. Two kids almost trampled the baby, and at one point she walked away and sat at a table to eat her pizza while leaving her baby on the floor. I once saw a woman walking through a mall parking lot with a girl of around 10, smacking her around the head and saying you're such a bee. Why are you such a bee? If I saw that happen now, I'd probably do something, but I was only in my early teens at the time. In a shopping mall, I saw a little girl who was 6-7 and had a very long ponytail. She was excited because they'd put the Santa Claus display up for Christmas and she was excited and clapping her hands and asked her mum if she could sit on Santa's lap when he came. Evidently, mum didn't like the enthusiasm and wrapped her hand around her child's ponytail and yanked. Pulled the kid off her feet so she fell and she started to cry but the look her mother gave her stopped her from crying out loud. They kept on walking. All the happiness drained from the kid who just cried silently. Some girl I know snorts coke around her newborn. The father wiped up coke residue with a towel, then seconds later used that towel to wipe his baby's mouth. The girl's mother passes out drunk while carrying the baby. I called CPS. My ex-sister-in-law would scream at the top of her lungs every morning telling her two-year-old son to find his shoes. She never helped him, she would just scream at him until he found them. HS math teacher, I have been asked by several girls why girls bleed when they have their period, what does ovulation mean, etc. They are so desperate for the truth they ask me even though I don't teach it. How to parents not talk to their kids then get pee when they come home pregnant. Friend's little sister went to see a movie with this kid and his parents. The movie that the parents chose was the new Evil Dead. This is the same little girl that got scared watching Monster House. I once sat in the theater watching Black Hawk down near a family who brought their 3 year old child. When the kid wasn't screaming or crying, she had her head buried in her hands. She was obviously terrified, but the parents kept telling her to shut up and play with her toys. A family lives across my apartment. The parents would throw their 10 year old girl out of the house, maybe because she made some mistake, and girl would bang the doors and cry her heart out and eventually after 10-15 minutes of drama they would take her in. My dad's business partner married a Russian lady who had fled the country after publishing an article against the government. She sent the article off to the publishers and hopped on a plane leaving behind her 2 year old girl in the care of some nannies. A few years later, she's married dad's business partner and gotten the girl a green card so she comes over. Now, the nannies basically let her do whatever she wanted or she tell mommy to fire them. So this little girl is a wild hellion. Her mother can't stand her and doesn't try to control her, yet yells at anyone who tries to discipline her. The whole company went to Disneyland for a long weekend, and she and DBP ask if I can take her around Disneyland while they stay in the hotel bar drinking. I say no problem because every kid deserves a good Disneyland experience. 
I actually managed to coerce some manners into her by the time the three days is up, and even though we had some rough spots, her lunging towards a cast worker as I frantically drag her away while she yells I kill her, I kill her dead was a highlight. By the end of it she says please and thank you and hugs me crying because she doesn't want to leave me. The parents left early on day 2. They didn't drive her home. They sent a driver to pick her up. I pulled into an apartment in my work truck. Worked pest control many moons ago. And a toddler ran right in front of my truck. Wearing only a diaper. I am not good at judging children's ages but he couldn't have been two yet. I asked him his name. Who his mommy was. Etc. But he was not at an age where he was verbal yet. I took him to the apartment management office and luckily the apartment manager knew who he was and went with me to take him back to his mom. She acted like it was no big thing. Even saying you know how it is with kids, they are good at getting out. Bulls lady, my kids were never unsupervised that young. And he was way too little to operate anything more complicated than a door handle. Father stops in the middle of a crosswalk. Read. The middle of the street turns and encourages his three or four year old daughter to walk out to him unaccompanied into the middle of the street where he is standing without any regard for traffic or watching for danger the kid was smarter than he was and waited for her mom to catch up the mom was then clearly berating the dad who was clearly not listening to her at all stupid 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 makes me angry whenever i think of it Mom told me after I was grown up that there were a couple of times she chewed out my dad for similarly oblivious acts. TL. DR. Emotionally abusive girlfriend uses her 5 year son's affection for me, and my affection for him, as a tool to prevent me from leaving her and being healthy. Probably did this before after our relationship ended. Backstory. A while ago I. 23M. Dated a woman. 26. With a 5 year old son who was amazing. In the beginning couple of months she was an awesome girlfriend. Caring. Friendly. Funny. Hot and a demon in the sack. I bonded with her son very quickly despite being unsure of being the father figure of a kid. I must have called him buddy a couple of times without even thinking of it and he took it to heart. One day he told me I was his best buddy and from then on whenever I saw him he would yell. Best buddy then run up and give me a hug. When other people would call him buddy he would stop them and say, I already have a best buddy, but you can be my friend, super adorable. He is easily the funniest, smartest, and caring 5 year I have ever met. I miss him very much and 3 years later still think about him. Horrible parenting. After being with her for a while she went crazy. She started fights with me. Kicked me out of her house. Hung up on me when I was trying to work things out. Lied to co-workers. We worked together. About problems we had to make it sound like my fault. Threw anything I had left at her place on the front porch. All of this with her son around and sometimes directly in front of him. Here's the worst part. Every time I tried to really end things. Ignore calls communication. She would have my best buddy call me. In tears. And leave me a heartbreaking email about how he missed me. I would then cave and the cycle repeated. She has most likely done this before and after our relationship. She had been engaged 3x after her divorce and before we dated. 4 years. And at least once after we broke up. Which was broken off. Personal rant. If you're a single parent. I would encourage you to make sure your so is worth bringing around before you introduce your kid. S. To them. They become attached and if things sour they are forced to break up. 2. All relationships have rough patches, but they need to happen behind closed doors. This woman destroyed me, between the way she treated me and the way she had her son break my heart time and time again. I'm not really the same person. I had finished therapy and the mess were working, but she undid all the work I accomplished and have since stopped meds due to a crappy doctor. God, I could use a beer. I miss my best buddy. Love you man. I hope you look me up someday. I'll get that beer now. My cousin. She works 10 hours per week at a minimum wage job. Her son needs corrective eye surgery to see better and she spends money on clothes, shoes and worse, new pets every dang month. I feel bad for her son almost as much as I do for the animals. People who let their children scream their heads off, run around like they're on a playground, and then yell at you when you try to not run over their child with machinery, at a grocery store. To be fair. Parents who take their kids to Trader Joe's could be a valid answer to this ask. 
Parents ignoring their children as they scream and run around in a restaurant. A co-worker almost dropped a large tray of food because of an uncontrolled child. We aren't allowed to say anything to the parents, or child, at all. At my last job, I was ringing this girl out who looked about my age, very early 20s, and had her 8-ish year old daughter with her. Daughter was acting out, asking loudly for things and complaining that she wasn't getting them. Her tactic was to say I won't be good if you don't get it for me to which the mom responded I'll beat your butt then she asked if I had kids. When I said no, she responded with daughter right next to her don't ever have them. I learned my lesson. I understand that the kid was acting out, but it was pretty clearly a product of no spotty discipline and saying in front of them that you wish you had never had them is setting them up for so many issues. Not the most sensational example, but definitely stuck with me as far as how not to parent. A woman shouting at and dragging her kid along on the train. He was like 2 and very sweet and well behaved, but his mom was dragging him for not walking fast enough and swearing at him for not handing over snacks without being asked. Not the biggest horror story but man she was nasty, in public, to a baby who didn't do anything wrong. Can't imagine what she must do when she's at home. I was pulling out of a gas station and literally this 2 year old walked right in front of my car. I slammed the brakes and the child was next to my bumper. I got out of the car, grabbed the child's hand and walked toward the parent by the gas pump. Told them that the kid walked right in front of my car. They told me well maybe you should drive slower and pay attention. I said, are you freaking serious? Your kid is just walking around. This is not a playground you freaking see her husband got out and I told him to go frick himself. They both got in and peeled off almost causing an accident. I have never in my life be so heated. Smoking drinking while pregnant. Crappy parenting before the baby is even born. When I was a kid my mom had a Ford Mustang Cobra II. It was a bad car for winter due to being rear wheel drive with zero weight on the back end. So it would slide all over the road on the ice. Whenever it snowed she would make me ride in the trunk to add weight over the rear wheels. I thought I was really helping mom out at the time, but in retrospect this seems grossly negligent on her part. Aside from my sister, the worst parents I've seen are friend of a friend. They are my boyfriend's co-workers friends who live a few streets away. One night we got invited over, got there, both of them were drunk and smoking pot cigarettes. The guy kept trying to pressure me into drinking. I already felt weird, so I was drinking a beer very slowly. Then the crying started. A little boy, maybe 2-3 came downstairs in a diaper. This was the middle of winter and it had been snowing. And I was freezing because they had the door open so they could smoke inside. The mom was yelling at him for crying, but finally got him to sit and watch Netflix. He didn't talk yet, even though he was almost 3. So everyone but me was drunk high, and then I completely refused to drink because what if this kid needed to go to the hospital for some reason? Who would drive him? Anyway, he was completely ignored by the parents, so I hung out with him and watched Netflix. He was incredibly desperate for attention, and was snuggled up to me and hugging me pretty fast. The mom was telling me how she hated being a parent and regretted it, and the dad kept hinting at a threesome. Ugh. I've never been back there and my so was tempted to call CPS on them. They had zero interest in being parents, didn't care that he obviously had a speech problem, didn't even care that it was below freezing and he was in a diaper. Go I hate those parents. My dad was really strict when I was growing up especially with what I wore. This one time I bought some cargo pants with money I was saving up on my own and wore them to school the next day. When I got home he got so infuriated that he made me take them off and he shredded them into a million pieces before smacking me around a little. Maybe I should have checked with him. Maybe he was trying to teach me a lesson in fashion. Regardless it was a needless overreaction like many other incidents. You saved your money to buy cargo pants. I'd say he underreacted. I once saw a woman open a car door, hitting her own child with the door with quite a bit of force. She was on the phone at the time, and even had the audacity to tell the kid off for crying. I'm not sure she even realized what she'd done. I get angry when I see young parents out drinking on the weekend with their kids. Like pushing strollers around the bars at 130am. Freaking get a babysitter or stay home. Bars late at night are no place for a baby or toddler. I used to work at a resort as a poolside server. 
I witnessed a man jump into the zero entry pool to save a toddling little boy who had wandered in unsupervised with no arm wings or life jacket. The mom, not even outside. She had set up the yard to watch the kid. The guy ruined his phone. Didn't stop to take it out of his pocket. Wonders never cease. And she didn't thank him or offer to replace it. Well honestly if the aunt was the one who was supposed to be watching him, then this is all on her. Her not thanking him was bad but maybe she was seeing red because her sister was an incompetent bee. I was at a target once and a little girl, 6, walks up holding the hand of her probably 22 year old mother. When the mom put her hand on the girl's head, the girl calmly said you're messing up my hair. The mom replied you're messing up my life. I thought you'd blame the girl for your stupidity. Not me but a former co-worker at a hospital. Mind you, emergency services fully exist at this hospital. A woman came into pediatrics and stood in line with her disabled child in his wheelchair. And she waited about 10 to 15 people back to see the doctor. She was crying softly to herself and when she finally got up to the counter, said I think he's having breathing problems. My co-worker took one look at the kid, who was completely blue, and ran back to the nurses. They took the kid to the back, but he had already died, probably a bit before she even came to the hospital with him. The lack of urgency from the mother is freaking crazy. It's possible she was in shock and on autopilot. I'm a caricature artist. One of my co-workers was working on a drawing of three teenage girls. When an artist is drawing, kids tend to hover over their shoulder and watch. They're interested and I don't mind it. I'm actually used to it. So a little sister of one of the girls who couldn't have been more than six was hovering over my co-worker as he's drawing. She was wearing a cute, pink hoodie with the zipper almost up to her neck. Her parents are three feet away watching him draw from afar. Her mom tells her to leave him alone and gently pulls her back by her arm. You're bothering him. My co-worker politely says, it's okay, she can watch, I don't mind at all. So her mom lets her go and she stands right next to him and watches. Not seconds later her frick head of a dad pulls her from the back by the hood of her jacket, choking her. She's not coughing, but defiantly struggling for air. He pulls her towards him, lets go and picks her up. Shut up, you're okay, he told her as she is holding her neck coughing and crying. While it isn't going to be the worst example in the thread, it is probably one of the more common. I often see parents letting their child run free, swear and otherwise create chaos in doing nothing about it. When then child gets so outrageously out of hand that they are finally forced into a position of actual parenting. Instead of correcting the child by telling them why the behavior is unacceptable, they say oh honey, I know you're having fun but the, point out the random stranger, doesn't like it when you do that. For Christ's sake, discipline your child. Friends of mine have a 10 year old girl and a 2 year old boy. They invited a bunch of us over because they wanted to get Frick to woo up but they didn't mention the kids were still going to be there. Throughout the night, you could hear the 2 year old crying for his mama and the parents would yell and cuss at the girl for interrupting the party and not keeping the baby entertained in the back room. I don't go to parties at their place anymore. I was at a gun range some years ago and heard a nice pop 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 coming from the berm over from mine. I walk over after a few minutes and see that it's a dad and his kid. The kid was maybe 14, but one of those that barely has any muscle. Weighed maybe 80 pounds. Anyway, when I finally walked over the kid was clumsily holding a AK-47, downrange, but was awkwardly asking his dad for earplugs. I went to go get the range master when I heard the plea please dad, if I shoot it just once, can I please have earplugs, I was unarmed, not about to approach a busted butt redneck with a gun on his hip, anyway, so I hear that and start stepping to the range master, he's maybe 30 why away, as I'm leaving the edge of the berm, the kid starts to ask again for earplugs and that's when the dad rips this one shut the frick up, put that gun down range, Pretend it's the goddang president and pull the freaking trigger, or very dang close to that. Anyway, I reported it up and haven't been to that range since. My stepkid's biological father, Reed Sperm Donor, while watching his kids and acting like he actually cared about them, had a female friend stop over at his place. He wanted some privacy, so he took the kids, 9, 5, and 3 and left them at a park several blocks away from his house and went back home to be with the female friend of his. No phone, no adults around, 
and the oldest didn't have the slightest clue where they were or where his house was. Their mother and I found out a few weeks later after the oldest one told us. Let's just say they don't go and see him very much unless he's around his parents, which he now lives with and he is 40 years old. You've been visited by swining thick boy. Like and comment swing well thick boy and you'll be blessed with many thick woofers in your life. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people. P